Hello fellow space engineers. Today I want to show you a little project that I'm working on. It's an attack dropship. It's a dropship that I designed to escort my larger dropship, the one that I have in the Uranus class destroyer. The idea or the inspiration that I use for it is um, kind of like modern attack helicopters. It, as you can see it has a tandem cockpit like in many more designs like the Apache, the Hind, etc. It has a chin mountain, a Gatling gun, stop wings for rockets, a larger wing with uh, pivoting main thrusters, a small crew compartment. And these thrusters are actually detachable or configurable. So, but what I want to show you is um, the concept and the controls of this particular dropship. I want to have something that could operate in a gravity environment in the same way that kind of like a hover ship or a helicopter would do. Um, I decided to do it just to have fun. I mean, I, it, the game controls are sufficient for any kind of ship, uh, of ship that you build, but I wanted to have something different, something more like simulation-like, so in which I had to like individually control or at least uh, control some of the thrusters to gain lift and actually hover and tilt it forward, backwards and to the sides to have this control effect. Well, I'm going to show you how it controls. Let's hop on the cockpit and let's get an exterior view. Okay, with the new in-game controls I can actually control the tilt and turn on and off the main thrusters. So to take off, let's put them vertically, turn them off, release landing gear, and we will slowly increase the thrust. You can see I have the inertia dampeners activated to counter this motion, so it won't be like drastic. If I want to move backwards, I just have to tilt it backwards. If I ha want to have some fine controls, I can still press the C keys and the spacebar keys to gain some altitude or decrease in altitude. Okay, let's keep it at some at a hover. Tilt it to the side, the other side, nose down, nose up, rotation. Do some test firing. As you can see, if I increase the thrust and tilt it, it actually moves backwards, as if I was tilting the main rotor of a helicopter. Let's try to get it to land on the back side of the ship. I just tilt the nose down and press spacebar and it actually flies forward. And this forward motion is faster the more I tilt it because it's actually aided by the main thrusters. And of course I can always do regular horizontal flight. Let's try to land it by decreasing the main thrust. And we just let it sit slowly, it will fall down onto the flight deck. I actually need to know if I am on top of the flight deck, which I think I am. Okay, I landed there. Let's take a look. So 
a little bit tilted to the side. Oh, because I'm still hovering. Well, it's hard to control, as if it was like a an RC model. Okay, I touch down. We can easily move. As you can see, it has this gentle hover. So if I want to take off, I increase the thrust. Then decrease it. You just have to find the sweet spot in which it hovers, like now. It depends on the gravity field that you are in. So if you're like in Martian gravity, like 0 0.3, 0 0.9, 0 0.4, you're gonna need like less thrust to lift off. If you are in 1G Earth's gravity, you're gonna need a little bit more. Just like the way you just tilt it down when it hovers with this kind of like helicopter motion, which feels so different from any other ship. If I rotate to the side, it actually strafes to each side, so it's kind of like controlling the collective of a chopper, and then you have the Sorry, the cyclic of a shopper. And then you have the, the collective with the spacebar, the W key. It takes a little to get used to, but if you like like helicopter scenes, you'll feel just natural flying it. Okay, let's put it down. Just somehow it's lagging. Just gently touch down. There you go. Landing gears. Turn off main engines. As you can see, it tilts really fast. And. Whoa! Wrong key. Well, I hope you have enjoyed. This is my test drive of the attack dropship.